Okay, so this is another um, installment on the upgrading the Digby. Um, this time we're going to have a go at carbon fiber, carbon fibering, whatever you want to call it. The front first. Uh, we've cleaned it with acetone. Um, we've got the prime. We've got the door wide open. Got some gloves. Got some masks. It's going to fall off there. And we'll have a go, and we'll let you know how we get on. Okay, mixing it well, and away we go. This is going to be fun. Never done carbon fiber before. It looks good already. Yeah. You need the door open, don't we? So, well, that's pretty good. It's um, it actually goes on quite nicely. I thought you know, it's like with carbon, not with carbon fiber, with um, fiberglass. If you don't use the right grade, it's sort of just mix and right mess, doesn't it? Oh, I need plenty of air on doing there. Yeah, going a long way. Okay, we'll. I'll come back to you in a sec. Oh, I better close that door. I will do in a sec. Just let the. Look at that. It's actually took shape, and it's not even setting or anything. It's beautiful. Look at that. And what we'll do, we'll trim the edge afterwards. Oh, that looks superb. It actually looks damn sexy. <laughs> it's much easier, isn't it, than um. Push it up, I think. Because I think, yeah, when sure they bring it, so the fibres seem to spread a little bit, and you've got to get rid of the blue. Yeah, so try and keep it as, as as pristine as you can. Yeah. Not clean, I mean, as in good shape as possible, because it will stretch yeah, slightly. It stretches it, making a mess. Now, I'm not too sure it's a different strength of carbon fibre, can you get? I might look, look that up. But I suppose the thicker the carbon fibre, the less you've got chance of moulding it, like round the front here, which is took beautifully. Yeah. From above, you see the blue coming through a yeah, bit. Yeah, don't worry too much. Push it up a bit. Bring it back. Yeah. You can manipulate. Oh, you have. Right. Yeah. Looks like you can manipulate it a little bit. Alright, let's crack on. Uh, the other alternative, what you could have done, like you Andrew just said, could have primed it underneath first with black paint and then that would have made it. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. See how it goes. But it is moulding nicely, look at that. Yeah. It'll have some rigidity, rigidity, rigidity to it. Rigidity? Is that, that a word? word? <laughs> no. Rigidity. Okay. Rigidity, it is a Make word. Make it up, man. That's it, that's Andrew's happy song. Have you got any more lyrics to go with it? No. That's all you get. That's all we get in. Right. Alright, we'll crack on and we'll um, level this off afterwards. The other thing we do once this is um, dried, we'll show you that a bit of a technique, I think, which we saw, didn't we? Where you put it on again and then you put another epoxy resin Ooh. over the top all right that the lip will cover that one it yeah. gets to shift over a little bit you put some more resin over the top and then um you use a heat gun that's going to be interesting okay what i'm doing now which we just tried it without some blue showing through and i just gently did it with my hand and just pushed the weaves together and this levels it out Not too much. See that? Just gently. Keeps the weaves. And whether I'm doing this right or wrong, we'll probably get someone telling me off, but that's fine. Looks good, doesn't it? That's right. All right. We're only going to do this one piece, and we're going to check and let it set, and see what it looks like. Yes. Ah, Andrew, you might have to press stop on my phone. Hold on, I think I might have it. There we go. Yeah, you're doing that bit there. I can't get it with the brush. I can't turn my phone off. Now, whether whether we're doing this right or wrong, we do not know. We've never done it before, so we're stopping now and letting this piece settle. And you can see there, and you can see there. But what we're just going to overlap because it's just a tender, okay? It's just a tender. 
but we wouldn't I wouldn't have believed how well it's molded around the front look so if anybody wants to leave any advice in the comments down below please do we don't mind we don't mind criticism we don't mind anything so maybe we should have cut them off square cross but it's our first attempt so if you enjoyed the vid please give us a, a, a like and a thumbs up and like I said any comments very welcome but I think we're gonna overlap that anyway aren't we Andrew yeah because at the end of the day it's gonna be in the sea and it's gonna take some battery in anyway it's just to get to the bigger boat all right take care catch you in the next video all the best and thanks for watching if you did the uh, up and coming videos are over there and subscribe button with a notification bell is just out right there cheers take care say goodbye Andrew goodbye Andrew <laughs> they all well, do that you, don't they? you just where'd you find that then just magic it he magicked it he magicked this little piece of sponge which yeah. making a big difference actually of course, before it sets would be a good idea. Magic. It's looking good, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Just to finish it off. Looks good. All right. Catch there you go. Catch the next bit.